Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and there has been some big developments with the Boeing 77 MAX program, as Boeing is threatening to cancel what is the biggest variant of the future of the 77 line of aircraft, the 77 MAX 10. This new development stems from recent comments made by Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun during a recent interview by Aviation Week. Calhoun pointed that Boeing could cancel the 737 MAX 10 should the company fail to get an extension of a regulatory deadline that would allow the 77 MAX 10 to enter service without an upgrade to the 737 Crew Alert system. This would require action from the U.S. Congress. And I'll be getting more into the comments that Calhoun made. So we'll first go through the background information on the regulation and how it affects the 77 MAX 10. These developments stem from Boeing's efforts to get the 77 MAX 10, the largest variant of the 77 MAX line of aircraft, certified for flight by the United States Federal Aviation Administration. For reference, Boeing does have four variants of the MAX, two of them that are certified, the Dash 8 and the Dash 9. Meanwhile, Boeing is working with the FAA for the certification of the Dash 10 along with the Dash 7, the smaller of the four variants. While the MAX 10 has already completed its first test flight, so far the process is ongoing and has not been certified. This has been a slower process than Boeing has anticipated, and it seems like the process could go even further well into 2023. And this is where the major concern that Boeing has had with the certification process for the MAX 10, as Boeing seems to be apparently looking to meet a deadline to get the certification process done for the MAX 10 before new regulations take into effect that would require aircraft being built to meet crew alerting system standards before this year's end. The standards in question are part of a law passed by the U.S. Congress and signed into law by then U.S. President Trump in December of 2020, which is known as the Aircraft Certification Safety and Accountability Act. In response to the two fatal crashes of the 77 MAX in Indonesia and Ethiopia, his intent was to improve the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration's oversight of airplane design. Included in this law is a standard for the crew alerting system for future passenger aircraft to be certified by the U.S. FAA, which would be effective two years after the date of enactment, which was in December of 2020. With this law, this would require aircraft going through the certification process after December 2022 to meet the standard for the crew alerting system. With the odds that the 77 MAX 10 would not be certified before years end and not meet the deadline, it might jeopardize the selling point of the cockpit familiarity for the 77 aircraft, which some have criticized as being outdated, along with adding to the development costs of reworking it. It's for this reason that Boeing has been pushing for the certification process to be completed before year's end, as previously expected. And if it fails to get the certification for the MAX 10 before year's end, the company could also likely push for a waiver from the regulations. So then we come back to the comments made by Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun, who cites the cost the company has taken as a result of the scrutiny on the MAX along with the current design of the MAX 10 and he put the cancellation issue on the table. Calhoun was quoted saying, quote, If you go through the things that we've been through, the debts we, that we've had to accumulate, our ability to respond, or willingness to see things through even a world without the MAX-10 is not that threatening. The 737-10 is a little bit of an all or nothing. This is a risk I'm willing to take. If I lose this fight, I lose the fight. These comments and possible action of canceling this MAX 10 program would have major ramifications, especially for the customers who have ordered over 600 of the jets, along with a void in the product line that would see Boeing having no competing product with the Airbus A321neo. While Boeing has been frustrated with the process to get the MAX 10 certified, the two tragic crashes involving the MAX jets have had major implications for all stakeholders involved. While Boeing has billions of dollars at stake as to the future of the MAX program, along with undergoing the scrutiny it has had to take, it seems as though the US FAA is taking its due diligence as it's trying to restore its global credibility following the two crashes. Years after the fatal crashes, there is still the scrutiny from some who do believe that the MAX should not have been certified for flight again, including those who lost loved ones in those tragedies. 
With this added wrinkle, the certification for the MAX 10 and the future of the MAX has now gone beyond the issue of aviation safety and now a political issue. That's all for now, though I do want to hear what you think. Do you think Boeing should get a waiver from the U.S. Congress for the crew alerting system requirement? Also, how do you think this will impact the future of Boeing and the 737 MAX program? This is Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. For more of the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.